Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is design hash map. Design a hash map without using any built-in hash table libraries. To be specific, your design should include these functions. Put key value, insert a key value pair into the hash map. If the value already exists, update the value. Get, return the value for the specified key. Or remove, remove the mapping for the value key if this map contains the mapping for the key. Yeah, so I, Personally, I really hate these questions, so I'm not going to go too into it. Um, you already know we can't use built-in hash libraries. So what's the really only alternative? We can use lists, we can use list nodes and stuff that if we want to generate ourselves, but let's keep it really simple here. And what we'll do is just generate a list. And we already know that all the values, keys and values will be between be between in the range of zero to uh, looks like one million, right? So why don't we just create a list? What we'll do is have negative ones at every one of these for blank and range of one million. Uh, so now we have this list. So we do use this extra memory, but that's okay. We are going to put this key and value into um, because we know that's going to be between zero and 1 million, we already have the index value to be, that's going to be the key number, right? So we can say, all right, self L uh, at the key, make it equal to value. And it's fine if it's already populated with something because we'll just update it when we put it in there. Now, when we do get, we're just going to return the self dot L key. And when we remove, we're just going to set this L key back to negative one. All right, so this should work. Um, it's not the best solution uh, because unfortunately even though this would pass when we do the get here this technically isn't O of 1 this is going to be O of N honestly I don't really see how we can avoid that if we're using lists uh, I did see some people use bucketing so they put like instead of a negative 1 they make this into a list and what they do is um, divide up the number key that they've given to and use some sort of modular to later iterate down this uh, bucket to see if that key exists. So that would save, I think, some memory, uh, but it would make it even a little bit slower because you now you have to look for, for, the, for the bucket key and then look through that list inside there to see if that key exists. Um, so it's up to you. I mean, really, it's like, do you know how hash, hash map works? We have a key. Generally, we will use some sort of algorithm to generate a hash key and we will set that space wherever this hash key points to to contain that value right uh, so you can mimic that in some ways you can like generate a hash map um, and or I'm sorry generate a hash key and have that point to one of the numbers inside this index or even have like some sort of other node to look through that but you know what I, I just don't really think it's worth going into that um, I'm not fully familiar with it myself, and I doubt this question will ever be asked in an interview. So I think this was it's good enough. We understand what we're trying to do, so let's keep it at that. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.